Cal Molinet from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today I'm here at the Compass once more at VCU to spread the message of freedom. The sixth being the day after the violently first of preferences on the people election. I am, uh, well, it's finally over, so you can all come down and rest assured, and uh, you can uh, continue your apathetic activity, you know, in the next four years, looking for parking, waiting in line, hiding in those confession murder booths, and finally thinking you have achieved something. Uh, or you could take a real stance and be the individual and stop waiting for someone. There's no salvation is going to come to another person, not through especially a political ruler, it's going to come for yourself. Um, to stand up to that tyranny and whatever chance and availability that, that you can, uh, wherever you are. And it's instead of having to wait. And uh, that's, that's the only opportunities that uh, politics affords you. Rather than uh, taking charge of your life and trying to be free as much as you can in your own life. And of course, challenging, challenging that tyranny wherever you are. So with that, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the content for today. Take good care. I'll see you guys at the Victory Party. So like, that's well, yeah, the hidden violence like behind this matrix, behind government. Like this that, organization only knows how to Either solve way. problems the one way, a <laughs> singular way, See? and that's and through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems. Whereas I don't versus a plurality of non-violent solutions you and I, my friends here, already share. Well, what are your thoughts on that? No, I my thoughts about you're that is they're. You're not really putting the burden of proof. I mean, no, a non-violent solution. You're yeah. to have a uh, control the media no, through mass. Uh, control the masses through media. That's a non-violent solution to um, changing uh, opinions and ideas and keeping right. things. To create our own media. Well, that's essentially like, what's happening. Do you watch TV? Yeah. I, oh, I hear enough uh, propaganda stuff around me uh, to know what's going on in TV. Now, imagine if you yourself were to dumb yourself down and say. You by three yeah. notches and you were watching TV. Yeah. Could you imagine without what kind of what kind of right. that would have on you? That's, <laughs> yeah. the, that's the that's the real like yeah that's the manipulation. Absolutely yeah yeah it's nonviolent and it is a solution. It's uh well so it's a solution and, and then trying to convey these ideas into each other information and stuff like that that's very important. Um, a lot of the biases of course the media they cater uh, as a business as a media they're going to cater to to their constituents and that's politics right. Uh, you're good. So they're that's only just going to kind of peddle a lot of political propaganda. Because that's the only thing that's that's available. That's only that's that's the You're public demand for that kind of um, service. Well, I, mean, they, they I, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, no, I would I know, agree. Yes. Then, um, like, if you put the as on as uh, as an individual who is it's, uneducated, it's a um, people, they they have no other choice but yeah. to buy into um, if, you know the, whatever system the government has imposed on us. Like the government itself. It just works works behind the scenes, and they, they continue to get away with things. And um, even though it's reported, um, I believe this day and age they get away with it. They get away with it a lot more, and it is probably because there's so much information out there for us to look at. There's so many facts that need fact checking. There's so many. Yeah. There's so many. There's so many like half truths and half ideas that are being circulated just, just at the water cooler. Just talking yeah. to the <laughs> They've done a really, really good job hiding that bias, hiding what, what they're actually doing. Uh, they're, I mean, that's they're very efficient at that. You look at like uh, in the 60s during the Vietnam War, and people saw that bias. People saw the bodies coming. No, people rioted. People protested. People got angry. People wanted this to end. And of course, the government learned their lesson from that, and that you don't see bodies in pictures or any of that stuff from the Iraq or Afghanistan. And you see but car accidents, murders, yeah. crimes. <laughs> they distract like, you, de right? De 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 I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm more de 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 <laughs> desensitized to violence <laughs> just because I've played video games. I've watched the news reports yeah. to see that, you know, they sprinkle in like a, a homicide here, like a rape here. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, you know what? That's just commonplace. Right. But in actuality, like. It's kind of rare, though, around here, I would say. I mean, when was the last time you were mugged? Um, the last time I was mugged? Yeah. Never. Never. The last right? time I heard about a mugging? Last week on yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about it once here. It's Absolutely. like we have like <laughs> we have hundreds of thousands of people here. One one I get private crime. On my phone. Yeah, it was like it, I mean they still they still put it out there. I mean yeah, 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 yeah. But then again, uh, that's that's law enforcement trying to warn us, not trying to control us. Right, right. Well, I would say that uh, here at the VCU campus, like there was like 218 crime people that were arrested by the VCU police, and over like 203 of them were for victimless crimes, for drinking. You know, for, for, for cannabis. Victimless crime, so you're not harming anyone. Relative to... Re relative to, to, the, the, to, the, to the people around you, yes. Yeah, I think that's very important that they really, for the most part, there's not a lot of crime. Most of the crime, though, statistically, is done by, by, by uh, gangs, right? A lot of the violence is done by the gangs across this country, but it's because of the war on drugs. Without a war on drugs, there's no incentive to be to partake in the, in the drug taking because I, I, uh, I the think, value of think, the prices go down for, the, okay, for drugs. Okay, actually, I actually have a... To talk about cannabis, um, 
Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, <laughs> cannabis itself is not a victimless crime. How so? If you trace it back to the source. If the source is like backyard grown in like Colorado and then, you know, somehow it ends up in the East Coast and yeah. you have to partake in it, totally victimless because it comes from. They grew it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think I just saw a news report talking about the Mexican cartels building oh, like, right, right. Like a yes. billion, like, like a multi billion dollar drug tunnel that was trying to. See ya. Six yeah, tons yeah, of yeah, marijuana. Yeah, yeah. That's not. That's not. It's not victimless. There, you're contributing to their business. You're contributing to their. Right. I can see that. I can see so that. Uh, well, because again, government has shut down alternative uh, sources for you to get it from. Right. People have to risk their lives to try to, to trade. Right. Right. People have to risk their lives to try to have access to that to try to trade, which to try to exchange money because they they refused for you to ha allow um, alternative ways to kind of resolve your disputes. The only way you can resolve it because it's illegal is through violence. Right, you can't have mediation because it's illegal. No one's supposed to know about this in the first place. So if I have a dispute with you, if you're like selling drugs, I can't make it public. Look, this guy ripped me off, bad quality. Right, so I have no alternative. I have to be secret about it. You have to be anonymous. Uh, versus like, uh, if I were to just like sell uh, a bottle of liquor, there's branding on it. You can trace it back to me. People, you can tell everyone my, my brand sucks. Um, I lose my business from that, you know. But you can't really do that when also, it's made illegal because there's no one, you can't really pinpoint who it is directly. Uh, also, because from services. an economic standpoint, um, your commodities actually don't depreciate when they're hot or stolen because they're already illegal. So there's a higher profit margin in robbery because you get the same return someone who was trying to sell it in the first place would get. Right. So in a lot of ways, it's completely the wrong way to go about doing something. And in fact, making illegal fuels that violence. There wouldn't be an Al Capone without prohibition. Yeah. Yeah, the prohibition invited invited the mafia to come in here. Before prohibition, there was never any problems with, with alcohol or anything like that. There was no drinking age or anything like that. Children bought it mostly for their parents. There's there's no problems. Uh, it was mostly a religious Protestant movement came in and said it was sinful, so they were able to control the political power and make it illegal. And then because of that, all the all the good business owners who made good quality liquor uh, stopped because they didn't want to be thrown into a cage. So there's there's now this market demand for liquor. So you just uh, put in room for a lot of criminals to come in, like the mafia. Say, well, we don't care about quality. We're going to make cheap, fast booze. We're very good at skirting the law. And that's pretty much what ended up happening. And then you see all the gang warfare, and they're killing each other to monopolize the service. Yeah. They're trying to take over more turf. And like with any monopoly, including the government monopoly on force, it always costs more. And you always get a worse service yeah yeah so 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 the business aspect of it is what is, mess, is, is the, wrong. the, the yeah. legal aspect of it is what's messing up the business aspect of well it. you only need regulations for something that needs to be regulated you know, we regulate you we can regulate that, ourselves that. we regulate like you, know, you look at an app look at your rating systems go to on yelp hey this restaurant's good or bad i'll uh, go on ebay is this a bad service how many stars do they get um, or you go to a bar you drink yeah have another shot you have one too many you keep drinking and yeah. then all of a sudden you're in the hospital with alcohol what? Could you, can, can, you, can you regulate well, I mean, yourself? Right, I mean, yes, that's, that's part of being problem. an independent, mature but human being. What are you doing drinking alcohol? And did you, I mean, so that's, that's what happens. I, I, I think, I, honestly, that was actually a bad example. Just because <laughs> you drink alcohol, you actually lose inhibitions to make good decisions. So. When you go yeah, to yeah. a bar, like, like if I go to a bar, it's a private, it's privately owned, and usually you'll have the guy serving me may decide, hey, this guy's too drunk, I'm not gonna... Yeah, they do that. They you know, do that. They'll cut you off at a certain point. Take it to your privacy Mainly your because home. they don't want to get sued you, when but, you but die. But you still. bought alcohol from ABC, go to your own house, it's your own house. Yeah, you yeah. have the... Uh, but anyways... No, I, no, no, that's a good point. ABC is a great area because there's still prohibition, right? The government, state tax from Virginia still has a monopoly on the wholesale, on the retail, on the retail distribution of up to so spirits. You can't buy it at Kroger. So, it's still um, ethanol, still alcohol, like wine or, it, or beer. Right? Uh, so yeah. like, um, it's ten to three. I don't know if you had to be somewhere at three. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll, it's okay. Yeah. I'll keep going. Uh, all right, so so that's what ended up happening. So there's still prohibition today, but they've become it's more administrative, right? You still don't have the freedom to compete against ABC. You can't say I could I could provide a, but you can't put sales for this. For example, like, for example, if I own my own bar, I can't uh, advertise the specials or the particular type of drinks as a special. It's illegal. I can't even put it on my own website. But if you're ABC, you can go to the ABC website. They have the price and stuff like that. So, but so that's how they restrict consumers from finding comparable prices. That's well, well, you still have competition with your uh, with other. Yeah, but I, I can't see what the competition is. It's like when you go to, uh, you can see online the comparable prices for like Walmart versus Target versus Kroger. You have those, you have those, um, the pieces of paper. You can't do that if you're a bar owner. Well, 
I mean, those are brands, right? I mean, yeah, but Walmart's they're, they're a brand. Yeah, yeah, Walmart's a brand. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Grey Goose is a brand. Sky is yeah, a brand. Yeah, yeah. Absolute's a brand. Yeah. You still but, have that. But you serving that, you can't advertise the price for it. It's just, it's just regulated. Right. It and regulates, you're still going yeah. through the same middle. So man. it hurts businesses for trying to say, hey, we have the best happy hours. It hurts consumers trying to see which is the best happy hour for me. That's but um. But the, the, the contradiction is that the government can do it though, but you can't. So the more okay. regulation you argue for, the less actual freedoms that you have. Yeah. Okay. I know that. Okay. ABC extortion is Charlie's filth. Younger but sparkling water. I know there's. I, I know there's regulation on goods because you trade with other countries, and if because there is trade, um, there's a there's a loss. There's a gain or loss in uh, consumer and producer goods. As well, and there's like a there's like a world welfare, there's a the home country wall for us. Yeah. So the ABC regulating alcohol sales, I'm sure it, it gets traced back to, um, you know, it, get, it gets it gets traced back back to alcohol consumption of the world and how would they affect each other. I, I'm not sure exactly. Right. No, no, absolutely. Uh, 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 like, like I've, I've done a good study on it. Yeah. If I wanted, if, if like, let's say you're an individual consumer and you wanted to go. Um, from in Virginia, we wanted to order the most popular or the most, the highest selling beer in the world, which yeah. is um, it's called Frost in China. Frost. Okay. If, you, if you want to go get Frost in China, uh, the government won't won't do that for you, right? But you could potentially get an order. For I yourself. can make an order. Uh, have someone deliver for me. Right. Mail it to me. Yeah, that's awesome. So, it, well, and then there's there you go. You yeah. It's not regulated by ABC anymore. Uh, well, it will be regulated by the tariffs and imports that uh, the other countries and put you on. You were it. talking about still spirits. That was beer. That's true. Like right. ABC only controls liquor. Like, oh, like, really? like, like my shirts, for See? example. Like my shirts and my clothing, all the imports and taxes uh, that put on put, makes the cost of even exorbitant higher than what it would be. Now you get it much cheaper, and that's what businesses are trying to provide you: cheaper quality of goods. But why though? Why cheaper? Why well, cheaper? Well, because now? they're competing. Because I, I could say, like, like when you go to a food court, right? Please have this free sample. They're all trying to say, hey, happy deal today, deal today, to today, because they want your business. They want that customer service. What about consumer responsibility to say, hey, you know what? The, these cheaper goods are only good for me for so like for. Yeah. Half a year, and, and you know what? It's, it's contributing to uh, bad labor conditions in, right. in these. And you stop buying it. Right? Yeah. No. But that's, that's, if you stop buying it, though, then they they go out of work. But well, that's fine. So I mean, uh, you look like uh, Starbucks, for example. The CEO trying to say, you know what? Anyone should be able to marry regardless of their gender. He went to the board meetings like, look, if you're against that, sell your stock and get out. Right? We, we're trying to. So that's that's a new thing coming up. These businesses pushing values forward, right? Recognizing that the consumers still want to see this, and that's going to hurt the bottom line. Like Netflix tried to raise their prices overnight last year, and people are like, oh, fuck that. Cancel on the subscribe, go to Hulu. Right? So this stuff has to be very important. And it'll be businesses, people must keep each other in check, because they're the first ones to tell you, hey, look what they're doing. Go with us instead. We'll give you a guarantee that now we're going to screw you over, not like Netflix. Does that answer your question? Well, the government can't do that, because uh, government can control. But they have a monopoly on the services I want. They have a monopoly on law, on courts, on justice, security. I don't have the freedom to cancel and subscribe as you would any regular business. I don't have the freedom to compete against this monopolized service either. Like first class mail, delivering pieces of paper. FedEx and UPS can only deliver packages. But, I, but they can't compete to deliver pieces of paper to make it even cheaper for you. USPS, $60 billion in debt. The cost of stamps has risen over 150%. Threatening to get rid of Saturdays. Like for me, if FedEx did that, I was like, well, fuck you, I'll go to UPS. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I go to DHL. I go like, or, 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 or I create my own business. Yeah, okay. But with UPS, when they hold that her service at hostess, you don't have a choice. Yes. There's no else for for you to go. Right? And that's what government. That's objectively, what government is. Get on a horse, like you said. Hey, if you don't want a mortgage rent, if you don't want to, what mortgage? If you, if you want to pay for, yo, get on, get on your bike, and, and start riding. Well, yeah, I, I think there there might be awesome ways to kind of create a uh, ways to deliver pieces of paper mail. Uh, but the community has to be you know, supporting of that. Uh, right now, a lot of people don't know about that, which is hard for someone to compete against that. Because the first thing the government will do is... My question is, yeah, why yeah. is that important, though? Why is that important to that Freedom of economic freedom is very important. Freedom to compete. Like the currency in your pocket, the dollar has lost over 97% of its value since government monopolized and outlawed competition in 1913. So again, you <laughs> stop... Uh, just using this example, yeah, yeah. you stop mailing, you stop using packages from UPS, FedEx, you get people back you, they go out of business. Right. The people that were employed by them go out of business, maybe they're in your community. Then what? 
then you have uh, the loss of not only. What do you mean back? Well, well how, how, I'm sorry. Trace back. Back in me is doing what? Okay, let's say you um, you decide not to use um, UPS or FedEx anymore. Right. Well, you don't have a choice. You have to use it. It's kind of like. Um, you don't have it, so it's like you have to use this police service because you don't have any other police service to, to call. They monopolize security. You have the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, I'm, I'm talking like uh, I'm, I'm talking security. U.S. Postal Service is only one service. It's like I don't care if McDonald's goes down. There's there's Burger King. There's Cookout. Right. Uh, but if they they ban that the competition, that's the only one you're allowed to go to. Okay. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to say. Like security here. What you had an example? What? what, 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 what I don't know. USPS or. Uh, so, well, I was going to talk on that, oh, people lose their jobs if you don't shop at this place. Well, if I don't shop at this place and it shuts down, then all those jobs are going to go be Somewhere absorbed else. by yeah. a company that does the same thing. Yeah. At a better At a better, better, at a better price. Doing it, yeah. Like, um, you find this all the time on, uh, on again, on eBay. I mean, it's not a perfect system, this, uh, but it's better system. But the time, but the time of that, the timing of that. The, um, the uh, you have to also factor in people losing jobs. That's people. That's uh, a loss in so wages. Did, loss in did you cry when Blockbuster went down? No, I didn't cry when Blockbuster went. Right. Down. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Like when Circus City went down, right. there was Best Buy. But I was not was, aware of what so, I'm aware of. Yeah, and those people were like they had ahead of time to know that they were losing stock. It was going down. I'm going to make preparations to leave, and that's what people did. Right. So, question is, why don't you buy a backpack to Jansport? If Nobody shops at Jansport. Everyone's gonna lose their jobs buying North Face. I mean, come on, man. Well, <laughs> I know for a fact. You buy all the backpacks. I know for a fact. <laughs> no, I knew. I know for. I knew for a fact that buying Jansport was gonna uh, was was gonna mean that I was gonna have to buy one another one for you. <laughs> well, that was just see, you see. Uh, but I, I know buying North higher Face. Higher quality. That, right? You're willing to pay more for higher quality. Right. So I, I don't need to consume as much. Yeah. Because I'm making yeah. smarter consumer decisions. Yeah. Yeah. And there'll still be consumer reports. That's right. that's not government. That's a private agency. Now, the idea of a company needs to continually grow and continually to show growth. Yeah. I mean, that's capitalism right there. Yeah, that's if beautiful. If you're an investor. Oh, that, so that the thing is, if I you're, mean, do, if you're a business do you want to get stuck? Do you want to get stuck with iPhone you one? Could, but what is? Do you want to get stuck with iPhone two? Do you want to keep seeing all this new technology that are going to be like the first? I see people with uh, Evos. <laughs> still texting on the keyboard. Yeah. Ain't no wrong with that. Anybody walking around with pagers though? I'm just saying. Um, I mean, I think that there's a functionality to a smartphone. Right. There's like you. Some people need emails. Some sure, 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 sure. Yo, we need. We all need web surfing yeah. here, and so you can Google things that we don't know and look cool in front of. Right. You. But it's capitalism it's that brought that together. Sure. Innovation to, to create and to proceed. Like like a couple years ago, plasma screen TVs cost thousands of dollars. Today, you can buy a better version for a few hundred bucks. Here's right? something. Here's some black market Wait. stuff. In the 50s, heroin cost like. Fifty dollars for a little bit, and now it costs like five dollars for a little bit. The same quality. Also, proof, yeah. um, is there better quality heroin? Well, that's sure. the thing because I mean, sure because is, it's been illegal for so long, <laughs> and people have developed more in intuitive ways of smuggling into the country. <laughs> heroin prices have actually been going down, the quality goes up, which increases bad. overdose rates. So again, making it illegal isn't helping. Um, but there's plenty of things we can talk about. This is anarcho-capitalism oh, okay. so, if you want to look up the topic. So the opposite uh, what, what happens with government okay. though, opposite to capitalism. So when government has a monopoly or anything, the costs continue to rise, as you were saying earlier, and the quality continues to depreciate. That's why USPS is uh, $16 million in debt. Uh, that's why uh, you'll never have social security when it's time for you to retire. Uh, that's why you know that you continue hearing a lot of these bad services of the police uh, hurting a lot of people because they have no incentive. There's no competition, right? To say if we could provide a better form of security versus these people. When you monopolize that, you know you don't have a, a need to improve. You just stagnate and uh, you idle. You have no competition. You have no need to say I could provide a better product than this person because you own it. <laughs> you own the competition. So that's macro. I remember when I first started talking to you, we were talking about agency, which is micro. Was there was there anything you got, we want to talk about with the agency, like what individuals can do to influence things? Or? Um, well, yeah. Um, an individual. I mean, the the system that we were founded on was a democratic system. Republic. Well, they never asked the, uh, the consent from the minority. They didn't ask consent from the children, from black okay. people, from He's women, right. from. It is. It is. Uh, I mean, yeah, but you know, through the civil rights movement and the well, way we. Well, you said it was founded. It was founded by 37 people unto themselves. They gave themselves consent, not from everyone. They forced it onto everyone. That's okay. not democratic. That's tyranny. Then, okay. Right? Okay. 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 But okay, fine. It was. It was. It was tyranny. Yeah. And now we have the Bill of Rights. 
Now we have the Bill of Rights. Well, who are they to give me rights to begin with? It's given to you, though. I thought rights are inalienable. Nobody gives it to you. You're born with it. You're born free. No one has the right to take that away from you. You're born to be free. You're born with all your freedoms. Then, For then, someone to say that this people... Then, then, then that was right after a, a revolution. Then if, if, if it was not accepted by everybody... It would have been beautiful. No federal government. No, that's not true. There, there might have been another group of men, or there might have been all the group, like everybody that came in decided, all men that came in decided. Right. No matter the way yeah. you hash it out. I mean, yeah, I mean, and that's the way, way it started out, it sucked. But I mean, it it's still a, sucks it's today, a, even worse. So I like to make a distinction here. You're talking about civil rights, and he's talking about civil liberties. You talk about how the government protects your rights. He's talking about how his rights can be protected from the government. Civil rights, civil liberties. There's a difference. And in the Bill of Rights, it's all about how the government protects you from someone else intruding upon those rights. Okay. But what if it's the government who's doing, like, they give you the power to have the freedom of speech, and they can take it away, right? Right. Okay, so... I guess because my civil liberties are taken away, my point that I was going to say about civil rights, I mean, it'd be no. It, you're right. I mean, yeah, and, and if I can't, if, if I if I cannot change anything without the government interfering in my actions, then you're right. I, I and that hinders you as an individual. The okay, Constitution yeah. is not a contract. You never sign it. Never right. get power of attorney. I want real contracts, real protection, real agreements, real consent, like a mortgage contract again, right? Yeah. I sign my name to this car. I sign my name to this bill. I sign my name to this community, to these standards, to yeah. these rules. I give consent and I like these rules. Yeah. So that, And that's what I want. Uh, without, without government, that's what you end up having. Thousands of rich, diverse communities catering to your preferences. You can have a community that's 420 friendly, one right next door that's not. Hey, these are the rules I like, uh, and I, I consent. Here's real agreement. Here's my real signature. I think that okay. So the governments are infringing on our civil liberties. Yes. This is this is what we're having problems. Yeah. Okay. Well, they can't. Well, they don't even have uh, in the constitution. Uh, they're not to to uphold and protect you. The only time they. Uh, have a duty to protect you so, when you're in their custody. So hypothetically, what is an ideal, ideal society where I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a, uh, I'm a constraint. The government has to be there. There's no. Oh well, that's, that wouldn't be my ideal. Well, let me give you a question. Uh, no, no, no. Name, name. What, what kind of community would you like to give live me, in? Give me. No, no, no. I, wanna, I ask you first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Fine. Give me a logical solution to. A, a society where there is a government, oh, but your civil liberties are are intact. Well, that's a contradiction because government has is, is is founded on the principle of violating that to begin with, uh, because it's founded through extortion. They have to steal from you to fund any of their services, to taxes again. Nearly half your income stolen at gunpoint. You have no freedom to allocate those resources in the way you want. What if what if um, if they're protecting if, if they're protecting me, as in if they're protecting me from invasion, right? Um, and I have to pay for that. That, that service, right? It is not. It is, it's not. Yeah. Well, could I just say, hey, I'm protecting you, so I'm gonna put a bill uh, at your mailbox, pay me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a car next week. Well, we can make a monthly payment. You don't have a choice. You're gonna keep the car. You have to pay me. That sounds like extortion. That sounds like what the mafia did. You know, you have to buy our our, our, our security um, instead of me as a regular business. Hey, we're gonna offer this deal. Um, we're gonna offer lower the premiums. We're gonna maybe sell you a gun, teach you self defense. We're gonna provide our all around security. We're gonna protect you. Would you like our service? We have great customer service. In the event that you get any problems with the government, we're gonna provide legal advice to protect you. So that sounds like a government. That sounds that's, like that's a business. Government. No, I'm, I'm nah. providing. Well, government doesn't do that. They don't offer you sales. But they don't they offer did, you discounts. I asked you what. what well, if they get it, wouldn't be government. That be a business but isn't government business nowadays no it's not because I mean, as a business they can't go bankrupt so as long as there's but, but my idea of a government yeah okay fine okay if a government is a uh, entity that controls something yeah and if that were just to be a business that offers you services to you yeah. and that was the only sole purpose of the government was to protect you right and then everything else left up to us could, isn't that isn't uh, that or, or, okay so like a limited form of government uh, well that was already tried that again that was called 1776 you had the least amount of government the least intrusiveness in your lives you had the most basic services but the thing about the nature of what governments are they're, they're unfunded the unfunded liabilities they have to continue to grow because they can't, there's not a, because there's no competition the cost continues to rise you have to keep stealing people's wealth like in the beginning maybe it was one percent tax over time is another percent tax three percent four percent now it's nearly half your income if we marginalize 
centralized government though right with and, and with the access to technology and information we have now if, was, if we if we took that 7076 example and marginalized it with technology we have today sure. wouldn't it be possible just to say hey that's your bottom okay. line if, if that was true then uh detroit wouldn't have gone bankrupt though detroit but yeah. detroit, detroit was, went bankrupt because it's government owned because own funded liabilities. Uh, this is again why Social Security is going to fail. This is why USPS, uh, sixty billion dollars in debt, is going to fail. I, I honestly think uh, cap capitalism is a cycle that uh, can only go around so many times. It, it is not. It is not a renewable. Oh yeah. Form as, of, as, a, uh, as a business moves business. like the average lifetime of a business is like thirty years. Yeah. Unless, if, unless you don't adapt. Uh, yeah. And businesses fail all the time. Fine. Where they fail, but at least there's someone else to say, hey, I could provide a better service, right? Like. Um, like again, when when Netflix started to fall, Hulu started picking up, right? Yeah, when when uh, Blockbuster started to fall, they changed their uh, the way they do business and trying to compete just like Netflix. Online services, Blockbuster tried to do the same thing. Uh, you find uh, like when MySpace fell uh, because yeah. of Facebook, right? Yeah. Uh, and maybe Facebook might fail too, and maybe it might go to Diaspora. But that's that's what that's what capitalism is: choices, different yeah. ways to, to say, you know what? They're they're not. Uh, improving their quality, come to me. Here's a lot of great ways for me to improve your, your your life. But government doesn't do that. They don't allow competition in those areas. And you don't have choice for you to see. You, you can't even compete to say, you know what, forget them, forget government. I'm going to provide you a better form of security that's not going to be abusive and harmful to you. But some government regulation is necessary. All of it could be provided in a free market. You can still have businesses to offer regulations. For example, hey, um, I went to their store, uh, very clean rating, uh, no, no problems in that restaurant, four out of five star. And people will want that rating accreditation. But who's hiring that owner? Is that owner just spark? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, the owner would want the accredited. People have that all the time. Hey, guarantee, you know, uh, consumer reports, I want to be in the top 10, you know? So, so it's like a, it's like a thing of trial and error. It's like, oh, the majority doesn't like this restaurant. That restaurant will fail. Somebody yeah. else will come up with a restaurant yeah. until they find somebody that they like. Yeah. So you have this like when you go to a mall. There's not one T-shirt business. There's like 20, 50 of them. Right. So, but but I mean, okay. Well, let's say that's the case. Let's say there was all those T-shirt businesses, and you know, you only choose the ones that you like, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's how kind of how it goes. Yeah. Um, take government regulation off. Uh, Both financially and then what ends up okay. Uh, okay, okay, so you you might okay actually this is a super hypothetical. You might have a period where the majority of people trend towards one brand of shirt mm -hmm. and during that time all the other businesses shut down. I mean, and then when they want something else, somebody else pops up. Yeah. But during that time like the there's like there's like such a long gap between the transitions right. that it makes the people who it just makes it like seem uh, you find like uh, for a while Microsoft was leading under oh, beating everybody out uh, with the help of the government beat out Apple for a while. Yeah, I know. Now Apple is coming back up. There's Dell. Uh, you look at Yahoo used to be the search engine, right? Uh, number one search engine before Google came out with a better, smoother, sleeker way to to search things, to find things online. But Apple itself now, I mean, it's it's starting it's starting to decline a little. Sure, bit. it's starting to decline. Maybe it's time for something new to come out. But is it though? That's and, and, and that's my question to you. Do you need do you need a search browser that's better than what you wanted in the first place? Something that's just simple. Well, it's just something simple, but that's uh. And then your tastes change. Yeah. And then you say, I need something that has like Bing, like wallpaper. Right. And then you're like, but then like, that's that's on us. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. us for being so damn demanding. Well, you know what they Not cater, what but the but businesses have to cater to you. They can't exist unless they don't find a way to meet your preference. What preferences, like, okay, so we have all these preferences, yeah. but where are we going with that? Uh, for, for quality. For maybe quality. maybe one day to get off this rock. Maybe some one day to, to go see what, what, what else is out there. That does, so like like memory cards for example, like like remember the zip drives, the floppy disks, they get right, smaller right. and smaller. That's capitalism, and they got cheaper and cheaper. Like right. like when you get like maybe four gigabytes, that was like fifty dollars. Now it's like that's ridiculous today's at, standards, at right? At the same time, you have uh, obesity rates going up. You know, people that are less productive, they're right. they're and, doing and, less and less and can, with more and more. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, still consuming yeah, more. Yeah, you can point out the way that the government has uh, monopolized healthcare too, uh, and the Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, again, when, when you monopolize these particular areas, things tend to stagnate. Uh, there's it, no healthy competition to It's to an attempt to go in a direction where they think they could help more people than are not being affected. Yeah. If, if you were, if you were, I mean, I'm not saying that this is what they're doing. It's a pos it could be a, if there's the right people behind it. 
that could be a possible like look at Canada. Okay, okay. Canada, right, Canada right. Is, is, is monopoly. It's going yeah, it's going bad. It's, it's going through a lot of hell but right a now. A lot of people still have health care. Like a lot of people everybody have to wait has months, months, months and months to get it. Whereas in a free market you wouldn't have to wait months. Like before how, health care was people have health care because of Obamacare again? Like yeah. nobody. <laughs> yeah. nobody. How yeah. long has it been in effect? But people in Canada, if you if you're Canadian citizen, there's a lot of horrible stories coming out from Canada. And that ends up happening, the stagnation. Wait, 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 wait. that doesn't answer my question. Do they have health care or not? If you're uh, young. Old people die. Hey. Okay. All right. What's up, Johnny? So I mean, I mean that's just like the basics. Principle. What? 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 Before so 1960? Right. Before 1960? Yeah, death panels. I vote that you should not get your chemo treatment. Before 1960, though, there used to be a lot of good health care before it was monopolized. Oh, so many immigrants communities coming here. Free health care for a lot of them. Population was also down. Oh, it was so high. Higher the population didn't really have anything to do with it. How? How the population? We're, we're not overpopulated. A lot of the land the government has has been monopolized. There's so much yeah. land to homestead. Oh, 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 you're right, you're right. You know right? what, you know what, you're right. It's, um, there's more doctors in this school. Than really. Right, there, there, was, there was never a problem. It's Healthcare like, was very it's cheap. technology costs. It's new procedures that are making hospitals more expensive. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's the, the monopolization areas of like uh, APA, uh, the American Psychological Association, yes. and uh, <laughs> well, it's hitting on the APA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for, for, before 1960s, there used to be a lot of these friendly communities, friendly societies. You were say, hey, uh, you pay maybe two dollars uh, a month, you have you have access to doctors, any needs that you need it. But when government monopolized uh, the healthcare system with licenses, for example, they're now then able to threaten doctors, hey, if you help them out, we're going to take away your license. So they they stopped a lot of people from trying to. Help Help poor people trying to help these communities that were starting to grow, and government just saw that as a threat against their monopoly, right? Because now they're in charge and they're in control, they can ban competition, uh, and that's that's kind of what happened to the dollar. There used to be a lot of competing currencies before 1913, and the government just started taxing uh, com competitive currencies. So if you want to use their currency, great, you have to pay an extra 10% tax, extra 15% tax, and eventually people say, well, I don't want to use this money anymore. And eventually they pass the law again, and you can't, you can only exchange it in the US dollar. <laughs> so I think that there's 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 been this thing that's been on my mind for a while, yeah. and it's been like the idea. It started with the idea that. Um, it started out with the idea of real interest rates are dictated by nominal interest rates and inflation. That is just a really, really arbitrary equation here, but when I was thinking about nominal, it's just something that is stated by the bank, which of course is stated by the investments and, and um, their, uh, what, what they, uh, by, by the treasury, uh, the treasury bond is what they do something with. Are you still in? Oh, oh. Not really. um, Right. It's the rate that they anchor everything, all the other rates to. Right. So of course it's connected to the government. So if you take that out of the equation, I mean, you take away a lot of, a lot of what uh, government or businesses or banks um, earn profit off of. They're still organic. They can still have interest rates. I mean, they're, they, you can still. So just take it away, right? Yeah. And then you're left with, you're left with inflation, which is. Inflation is the Which means he's um, going to see what price of a good yeah, or service really tied back to the money supply, right? Right. Yeah. So if the money, and then if you have that equation where it's just R equals inflation. So let's say, yeah, you still have, you're right, you still have um, interest rates. If that's what it is, interest rates only, interest rate only moves on money supply. If money supply is like tied back, to, if it's tied into population, I mean, it can only, it can only go up and down with population. And, and so that's the last thing you want to do is to monopolize like, currency because then you can continue to, continue to print as much money as you want and that contributes to the inflation area. Uh, whereas instead of having a scarcity in the amount that you, right. you, you uh, create uh, per year, like have you heard of uh, Bitcoin? Yeah, yeah I've heard of Bitcoin. Okay, so, so, all right, so government hates it. They can't regulate it, they can't tax it, it's decentralized and there's only a certain amount of Bitcoins that are generated per year that can be mined, right? That, that's helping to create some of its value because of the scarcity. Uh, so when you're able to just print your own money just type it into a computer system like Monopoly, that's going to cause you know the quality of that, that the depreciation of uh, the value of the currency to go down, and that hurts the poor the worst again. No incentive to save. Every dollar you hide underneath your bed mattress is depreciation value, right? Uh, but Bitcoin is not going to throw you into a cage you compete against them. There's a guy who tried to compete against the U.S. dollar a few years ago called uh, the Liberty Dollar. Iris came in, seizes assets, threw him into a cage. 
And that's what I mean. That's subjective. They have that binding monopoly. And that's what I want to end. I want the freedom to create, freedom to innovate, freedom to, to, to show some things that's never been created before. You look like when you ended the uh, institution of slavery, that violent system, agriculture did not look the same 100 years ago. But so what would your solution be to over just overthrow the government? It wouldn't be so much overthrowing. It would be just turning to a community and turn away from government, ostracize government, ostracize the politicians, right? Don't invite them to your homes, to your diners, to your, to, you know, um, to, I guess, to your community, to, into your life. Ostracize them and let's create a foundation of first principles. We don't use violence in our day to life to solve problems. Let's start with that. As my friend was mentioning earlier, that's called the non-aggression principle. That's not, that's, that's not a bad idea. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, it makes sense, you know, get people out of, out of power, ignore them. Yeah, ignore them. But, and then, and no, then, and then what? Do, all right. Do with and government entirely. Yes, and then that's how that's how they can find you. You don't need to change all of you. All of Richmond doesn't need to know about this. You look at Detroit. Only 47 percent of all homeowners uh, last year just stopped paying their property taxes. Stopped so, altogether. So who's taking over all the all of the? All right. So that's so I guess at that point, just appropriate. It's public property. Appropriate. Claim there's, ownership. There's not homesteading. enough people that are educated. Well, that's that's what this movement is for. To understand uh, the information. Like earlier, you're telling me, like the media has, a, I guess, a, a certain kind of monopoly in the in information that's out there. That's that behooves us then and. What, what, is, what kind of what we're doing right now? So the, the so the first step in all of it is getting getting enough people to be educated and to be ready for the change. Right, for so the transition. It just happens over. Right. And then okay. you encourage people to innovate. You encourage people to create. And then when the monopoly ends, we create our own security system. We create a uh, way to just deliver pieces of paper, first class mail. We have all this stuff. A lot of ingenious people ready to create, to trade. The, the, for that transition. Now you okay, so you appropriate you appropriate the positions to people, right? Yeah. And then those people have to you know do the job, right? Yeah, yeah. And then like for example, like the, maybe the postmaster. What if I mean there, there's gonna be confusion. Yeah, yeah, they will, they will. So then you know, but it's okay because you know we 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 got the freedom to innovate. Yeah. So then we just kind of go in a direction until we find something that works. Yeah. Better. So there's no real solution. The solution is like to do away with something that is harming us and then just hoping that our minds and our innovations yeah. will get us to something better yeah. in the future. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's a hope. Well, it's not so much so, so the thing is, it's not placing one hope on one person. One person is not going to have all this. I, I never yeah. said it was no, yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah, but it, you have a huge, large community of thousands of people with right. creative ideas. It's all not right? necessarily hope because there's evidence that suggests that when a market is open, innovation occurs. Yeah. Like when prohibition ended, sure you had the violence of the mafia dying, so and instead of each other off, but then you had yeah, it's a natural inclination. So instead of yeah. the government being a monopoly, we put the government up, stop calling the government, and make it to disappropriate it. Like if you, if and like, not even competition. Yeah. But then how do you fight? For, how do you get the resources to do what you need to do for? Your job. In the same way that you, you look for resources everywhere, uh, you, you look on the internet, uh, you, you call a supplier, hey, I like some of these resources. Uh, now, I mean, I mean, maybe uh, teaching business classes will be a good thing to help each other learn how to, how to do that. Absolutely. They teach you business classes. I'm looking at this, it just looks like a form of. Uh, it just looks like a form of competition. That's, yeah. that's all it is. So you still have the same limited resources. Yeah. You still have your labor, your capital restrictions, yeah. your restraints. There's just no monopoly, but there still is not a government, but small businesses that regulate what the government needs to regulate, that compete yeah. for these resources, yeah. that compete for the land and the government. And that's a free so and voluntary society. That's a free and voluntary society until one, one smaller company decides to get more innovative and then more people are demanding that and sure. then all of a sudden that starts to grow. Yeah. And then it starts to get bigger and then you know, you never know. It might not seem like a monopoly in ten years, but maybe in twenty. Well the great thing that anyone can compete at any time though. Because there's no government restriction yeah. preventing so, you from So competing. it's literally just saying like, you know what, the, you know, you guys the government won. The the people that set up everything won. You guys need to step down and just give the whole game another chance to reset. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, yeah, I, yeah so like go just Political positions. So yeah. abolish those positions that you have. Right. Because but they won them. They're winners in the terms of they won a political process and got to the seat but that they did and they were voted on by by you and not maybe not you, maybe not me. But uh, by for, for, for those people who just, well, again, I wouldn't say that they won, no, but by that time it's going to be too late. They they're, they're, by the time they're going to be the minority. By the time they're going to want to do it on their own to, to be a part of this community. We, again, we've already ignored them up to that point. We don't need them. So then, okay, generations go by. Yeah. 
the leaders of these, um, the leaders of your, uh, of the, um, a community, the, the communities, yeah. they die off and they die off. Yeah. And, you know, you, it, it kind of seems like you're, um, you're either breeding people that are going to fall in your footsteps. New rational. But if you're, if you're being yeah. innovative, yeah. you know, what, what is to say that what you and I see in here now that's passed down through time, yeah. maybe in the form of a book, maybe in the form of a hologram, we got innovative. Yeah. But, you know, they see that and they take it a whole different way and they start to look at the idea of what monopolies were like and that they get innovative and they become a monopoly game. Like, what is to say that it's just like... Don't look at, uh, I mean, when, when that happens, they look at us and you're like, man, I can't believe you guys had a government back then. It's like, oh my God, for so long. Uh, but the thing is because they're not gonna be taught the language of violence. They're not gonna be taught the language of politics. You know, that's what's gonna yeah, help set the, the generations for you. Right? right? They're not gonna be taught uh, using violence to solve problems. They're gonna be a lot smarter, creative, brilliant than we are. They're gonna continue finding plurality and nonviolent solutions. Yeah. Right? Maybe they're, go they're, go they're going that's to be- a nice like, idea. Well, it works a lot. Like done. even scientifically, they say like a lot of the children who are not uh, spanked, for example, the most disciplined or more, more creative and yeah. more intelligent. And they do, I mean, at the same time, like, you know, the, some of the smartest people or some yeah. of the, they, they're the sickest people. They're just, they're frail. You yeah. Know, I would say. Yeah. Are you, like, how do you find the balance? Is that something what we teach? Uh, yeah, yeah, so peaceful parenting. Yeah, peaceful parents is a big aspect of this movie. You, know, you can't just be against state violence. You have to universalize it again, uh, right? <laughs> against the violence we do to each other, and especially the violence that's on the But then, like, you get angry or something. Mm -hmm. And then, 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 we, we, then we go to a therapist, say, let's, let's retrace back. What was your childhood like? Why are you prone to anger? Do you need to anger management? I played football. You played football? It was it was, it was was right into me as, this is competitive. Yeah, whatever. It may. It may be seen it as be too long to type into whatever. Healthy outlets of aggression. That's perfectly well, fine. Okay, it's well, a, it, let's see. It's what a, would yeah. the uh, it, okay? It's a it's a catharsis, oh, right? Is that what it's called? The, uh, whatever. Yeah. I, su I suppose, yeah. right? What is yeah. the acronym but for that? P. At the same time, it's still it's still in me. There's no, genetically people, in my yeah, makeup, I might be prone to be much. aggressive. Uh, oh, so genetics are very important. So like, there's a lot of genetic factors. For example, you may have all the traits for like a sociopath, but if you had a good upbringing, healthy, peaceful parenting upbringing, those genes would remain dormant. So, so, like Hi turn so off. Hitler? Yeah, so like, Hitler. Right. I, there was there was a there was a thing that uh, was like a study. Yeah. Or it was it was some book that said if Hitler uh, if some of these events never happened in Hitler's life, like it's yeah. him beating him every single day, that he would never have become the right. ruler of Germany. Right. But I mean, at the end again, oh, and that's, that's what scientists have shown. Like he, sometimes there's this guy says like he traced back to his family lineage, and there's like a lot of people in his life that murdered a lot of people, and he had the same kind of brain patterns as a lot of the psychopaths. But the only thing that did not uh, permit him, uh, let him to follow the same path is that he, he didn't he didn't have any childhood abuses or traumatic events that led you know, you don't for those. For those I don't think I don't think right now we have enough of understanding of math yeah. or science yeah. to forecast any of these things. We can't tell the weather, we can't predict stocks, we can't predict what um, we, we, we can't predict it. We, we do have a lot of information now to show that actually a lot of violence on children up to the age of four at least a lot of negative detrimental yeah. effects into adulthood. A lot of like uh, just statistics, yeah. patterns, right, right. are what we do, but we can't forecast the uh, like the right, right, right. There's still, there's still area of free will. There's still area to turn that ship around. There's still area to still help and prevent before it escalates. But that's very true. So my question is like us being here and talking about these ideas and talking about the potential forecasts by bringing data. You know, like like you. Bring some very very well articulated points that are the goal I mean, you have very well <laughs> depth knowledge it, it goes really deep but you're forecasting you might be a better forecaster than this guy or this guy but I mean I just I just don't I, how can you guarantee something how can you guarantee how can you guarantee something where it'll change the minds, it'll change the beliefs of these people, of, of people in general, people like me, right. to be like, guessing you were this guy is on something. Right. Uh, well, that's, so I guess you're talking like a paradigm shift. And then for paradigm shifts, you don't really have to convince all of it. This is a good 10%, just a few thousand people. Uh, to, the bandwagon effect starts to kick in. But at the same time, that's, that's why I do these recordings. I have a YouTube channel, I have like over 100 people. We've been talking a lot of the same, eventually they come to the same. I'm a more Asian, I'm very rational, but what about everyone else, right? Uh, uh, and that's the thing where change starts from. And don't you, get, don't you get? Doesn't that lead? Doesn't that lead to? Yeah, you know, yeah. Paradigm shift. It's, it starts in our own interpersonal relationship. Yeah. So ten yeah. percent, ten percent of the people yeah. know more. They're more rational. Yeah. Ninety percent of the people don't, and then they slowly switch they just, over. They just, yeah, they follow. Yeah. Yeah, they may follow, but you know, maybe there was a re maybe there was an intangible reason why they 
put in. I'm forecasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the media, um, like you mentioned earlier, a yeah. lot of these preventing blocks to prevent us to see the truth. There's, I mean, okay, yeah, the internet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to. Zip up, popa, yeah. But at the same time, how many people were going there? So, it, I mean, how many people really will understand once right. you get to a point where, you know, um, that's the exciting part to, to find out and work on this together. Is it exciting? Yes, or it's is exciting. It, this or is, is the beginning it of something dangerous? new. Well, it's it's exciting. It's not so much dangerous because the government can't stop us from just simply talking to one another. So, well, they can. Now, if you're 100 feet from Obama during his campaign, you can. Get, they that, can. get that secret police state going down. <laughs> Watching you. Get some uh, SS. So this is this is a non-political organization. It's like... Professional, official, unofficial. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like that. Yeah, uh, it's going to be VC anarchy anyway. So it's, it's so the, and the thing that that's, that's where it has to start. You know, that's where you know we draw that moral line. That's where we stand up to that tyranny. That's where we, we begin here in Richmond. We don't have to convince all of the rest of the world. Forget the United States. Forget North America. We start here in Richmond. Yeah. So right? basically, we have our we own community to work here. The most we can do is put that spotlight in the air, and other people who want that freedom will see and they'll seek it out, and they'll end the own oppression. They'll end that own tyranny in their own in their own land in their own community. Simple, but, but it's here though we have to unite. To here we have to turn to What about in 20 years when like big picture? Right, what about in 50 years, years when people die off? Well, we, or, 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 okay. I, I would say though, maybe by 50 yeah. years, if we end the state controlled market, you liberate the market, you liberate billions of ideas. By then, maybe we'll have nanotechnology, um, ways to re we replace our organs, maybe. By then, death doesn't have to be an option. Okay. 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 Right? So, if death wasn't an option, let's say you couldn't die off. Yeah. And these people that are in power right now and making, they're keeping this monopoly alive, they're not allowed to die off. So, then the only course of action is what? Non violence? But they're gonna live forever. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't suspect this is gonna last 50 years. Uh, I mean, if you look at the uh, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, forecasting for like an economic. It's already the dollar's lost 97 percent of its value, so it's only got three percent left to go. Uh, people forecast like five to ten years. I mean, I mean, like in this year alone, and, and enough that we've uh, created an impact here in Richmond. Next year is gonna be even more. Like when you unplug yourself from the matrix, you can't it's plug yourself back in. When you see truth, when you see for what it is, like I'm just gonna point out that Neo plugged himself back into the Matrix so that he could destroy it from within. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Did you fight uh, Agent Smith? Uh, yeah, but the yes. second and third movies don't count. It's the first one that was the best. I the first know. one was the main... Right? Uh, you gotta watch the, the whole series and you get one piece. I don't know what happened with the second and the third. I mean, the um, third one wasn't as good just because yeah. you weren't in the Matrix the whole time. Uh, all right, so so like 50 years from now, I don't see it lasting 50 years. I don't, I don't want to die a slave. So thing. That's the thing. I don't want my children have uh, social security prison tattoo numbers on the ends of their feet. So so my so my thing is, yeah. where do you see yourself in 50 years with this free idea? Are you are you at the top? Maybe uh, maybe we're all at the top. All of us are just as wealthy as we want to be. Maybe right now or we're we sipping mar turns. margaritas on uh, on the moon off uh, Saturn. But is <laughs> sipping margaritas ideal? Do we want to be congest ingesting alcohol? Do we want to be doing that to ourselves? Right, if, if you want, want, if you want to, cannabis, uh, maybe find, maybe okay. we'll try cannabis. We in the future, the we will have a lot more we? technology. Yeah. We can have like glasses that will see basically anything that like, I mean, we could you be could create doing something that tastes alcoholic and gives the same effect yep. that doesn't damage your insides. Yeah. Does that, alcohol taste that like, good? <laughs> you drink alcohol too. No, it, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> what we're drinking Manhattan's on the moon. In 50 oh, yeah. years, <laughs> our computers will be but so I'm good saying, that they'll essentially Well, you look at the rate of technology paper. and how it's yeah. been growing. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, you reach that, um... I like the, the rate of uh, uh, like memory cards yeah, continue to oh, increase yeah. in mass, like but the smaller size. Um, you know, quantum or, or computing. See the, uh, That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quantum computing is another good point. Or you reach that uh, that area where computers can outmatch the capacity of uh, the human mind to process information. Uh, what, what do they call that that point? Where I guess uh, computers can match uh, human uh, intelligence and process. I'm not sure. It's the. Uh, uh, but that's yeah. the, but these aren't these aren't these aren't new ideas. But so these are ideas that only capitalism. It would at least get to average these are ideas that only free market. If it's truly, singular singular point. Yeah, yeah. If it's truly yeah. innovative, in the face of more constraints, yeah. the more innovative you have to be. Yeah. Don't don't you yeah. see that? I think that's true? awesome. So wait, if we are freeing up, if, if we are freeing things up for people to be innovative. Yeah. It, I mean, it, again, it'd be just like when you ended slavery, you cannot tell the same farmers what agriculture was going to look like 100 years from now. They will have no idea 
for all the stuff that we enjoyed today. But you know what? At the same time, in the time of slavery, the Underground Railroad was a lot of fighting to happen. Yeah, that I was mean, innovation. Right you got there. black yeah. in the face of yeah. adversity. Yeah, you, so it's this limited market. We only see like a small percentage of what it could be like. You end the market. You end the state control market. You free up all of these different ways we can create it. If there, if you put your, if you're okay, so it's like one of those logic problems. There's one, one answer. Yeah. And, and I, I give you like seven different kinds of uh, constraints to the logic problem. Okay. And you gotta solve it. Yeah. Right. Hmm. You're gonna have to figure out outcomes that are way more vast and complex and. Yeah. Then something that's more simple. Use that Decision open, analysis. Right? Right. Uh, and then, and then at, at the end of it, it's quality uh -huh. that you get. Yeah. Open source. So, so I mean, I understand. I agree that there needs to be innovation. Yeah. If the government is preventing us from doing all these things, all are, they're taking away our civil liberties. Yeah. If there's going this to be a way, it, 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 unless unless yeah. it is to say that they're they're the best, like they're they're the smartest, they're the best, they, they they've got us defeated, and there's no way for us to escape, and there's no way us to liberate ourselves. If there is the need for a liberation, um, then then yeah, then we need to free ourselves. But I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that can be more in, in, in like mm. it, uh, okay, uh, Steve Jobs. He liberated himself, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, what uh, the guy from Microsoft? Uh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. How, Bill Gates. How did I not know that? Oh, Bill Gates from. Uh, yeah. They liberated themselves from the system. They, right. they, you know what they did? They became companies that nobody could touch. Right. Not even the government could touch. To be honest. They like, try. They try though. Trying to with the anti-monopoly trust, which is funny because government in and of itself is a monopoly. So it's Google. kind of funny that we say yeah. we need innovation where, in the past. 20, like 20 years, we've seen it. It's, it's happened. Right, but That's over, over time though, so like potential. every year though, yes. thousands more the laws come into place, thousands more regulations come into place, and that continues to stifle and choke innovation. Uh, this new study came out of Texas from Reason.com. Because of all the past 60 years of regulations, you're 75% poor. Right, that restricts you as a business to grow, to to hire new employees, to yeah. Instead of trying to lobby the government, most of research and development is in the private world. So every dollar, every tax dollar you steal, it's really you're stealing a dollar and twenty-five cents from the free market that could have been better invested in those technologies. That's because you're on the pursuit of profit and growth. It's not because it's not because you're not liberal. Yeah, and the profit and growth goes back into the same business. I mean, uh, apply that concept to the Earth. We're, we're, we're constrained to being on Earth. Go to the country now. Circle the world. Now, yeah. We are yeah, yeah. a class zero civilization. Actually, point yeah. eight. Travel throughout point the world enough eight. times. Visit Paris. Point yeah. seven. Visit um, yeah, point seven Hawaii. Technology. Go to Africa. Bolivia. Everywhere. Yeah. Bolivia is everywhere. Like, I and even Antarctica, and you put your own flag in the ice. <laughs> yeah. You start to realize but I'm constrained I by this Walmart, Earth. The are. Earth that I live in. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah. in terms of constraints, like they're always going to be there. There's no way, real way, to free and liberate yourself. Well, you know what? Red Bull has a better space program now yeah. than NASA. I, right. I believe it because uh. NASA's funding. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Right. Are you serious? Unsustainable. Yeah. See, oh when God. was the last time we were at the moon? Right. More along the way. The free market is going to find us way to get up there. Yeah, for a fraction of the cost. No, at that point, then we'd be able to tap. Well, we'd I almost, think that we'd essentially be able to it's tap done into correctly. the source code of the universe no, to be able to reprogram parts of it using I mean, already there's existing a way for this. There's a way for the, 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 the government. government. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I, maybe it's a hope. Maybe then from there, maybe I would be kind of I don't know. I kind of almost fear what would happen. That's what I bring these pamphlets. That's why I continue the discussion. I don't know enough either. There's still a lot more I still want to learn. There's still a lot of information out there I want to discuss and and I guess adopt adapt to it. You know, adapt to this information too. People, I think that would. I think, are you, have you traveled like, to the have far that east? Kind of technology. Far east? You'd have to uh, have you been, not to the far far east. I've been really to the middle east, ready but uh, not to the I guess, far far, far east. I think, yeah, I, uh, I definitely think the the, the viewpoints of, of sound capacity of if western you're immortal, eastern because they would they need to meet immortal. and they yeah. absolutely like need to meet. Like if you have biological mortality, you can still a real look at each other. And honestly, I can't say there's no one that better one. But all example I can say is when Americans went to Japan and saw how Japanese did it. It was the it was the like, Westerners that were impressed. I mean, Japanese right. did what? I'm not even Asian, man. I'm not even, <laughs> that sounds so like yo, cut that out. Uh, <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> wait, um, I didn't even mean like, <laughs> no, 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 no. But what I'm just saying like yeah. um, it, it's, a, it's like I, I, you I, I, go I, I, see yeah. you see a different culture and it blows your mind. Yeah, yeah. I see a, so much interesting like products that come out of Japan yeah. that I can't even fathom. Well, the TV shows are like, oh my god. The Japanese were impressed with the Western guns. I mean, there was a they made themselves. Several hundred years, they made their own like robots. 
spots. Portuguese uh, yeah, traders, they, they limited years. themselves. Yeah. They, they probably could have had a faster advancement if they didn't limit. They were more of an isolationist country. No, no. They only had like maybe allow ports open for like maybe like like maybe a few days a year. Yeah, go to the Northern Virginia. Oh, Northern Virginia. I lived in Northern Virginia. How many years? For like 15 years. 15 years? Yes. Oh man, it's great in Northern Virginia. Don't you agree? No, no. Be 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 real with me. Uh, my my problem with Northern Virginia is uh everything was kind of like NASCAR racing there. Like, zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, like like 495 and everything like that. Uh, it wasn't like if I were to make any friends, they they have to live in my own zip code. Uh, that's true. Right? That's, <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Yeah. They're very. Some but, of them are pretentious. But, uh, but I'm moving down here, Richmond. Though, I love but, the city. Yeah, because it's so close. It's big enough to put my arms around. Yeah, but you know what? In Nova, it wasn't, and that's yeah. why you didn't like it. Yeah. It was out of your reach. But yeah, I bet you you weren't. I mean, you probably bored because yeah, there's not just limited things to do there. But like the people you get to meet. There was en enough. I would say there's a lot to do there. Like I did a lot of stuff in DC. I love DC. A lot of secret gardens, for example, yeah, yeah. in DC. A lot of great places to explore. Like really um, but it was just uh, the cool. traveling distance to get there sometimes. What about but like travel? And what about the mindset of people? Skates. The mindset of people. I, I guess at the time I didn't really care so much. People. To be real, I, 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 I would understand him and study them from afar. Um, didn't really find anything to relate with. But for the most part, there's a lot of people coming and going. Oh, yeah. Visitors. Um, I would rather have foreigners. So it's not like they're they're they're, they're pretty much there temporarily. Don't have to worry as much uh, about they're not really as settled and, down. Um, what is it? Yeah, it's a very big right busing place, I guess, if you'd imagine so just, New York like, City would be. But I mean, all my classes and then I don't know, that's uh, one of the main reasons shoot. I chose Richmond instead of moving down like, here. Yeah, it took um, me two minutes. Remember, what was your interest in Northern Virginia? Virginia? What did you like about it? Yeah. Um, um, you did have Tyson's, like, right? <laughs> no, it wasn't I had no idea there was a Tyson's actually, 2 this whole time. Yeah, you don't know about Tyson's 2 until you can afford Tyson's. I had no idea there was a Tyson's 2. I was like, for rich people this whole time, live here for like forever. It's this man, like, it's like. Do they still make them? All right. Yeah. It was. The fact that are there people that use them around here? I had I don't know. my best friend being like, I remember from Ethiopia. When they first came my best, out, my other no best friend being it, Korean right? and so um, kids, like, in Asian. Asian. Yeah. Oh no, Samoan. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then you know, I got a Somalian friend over here. Salvadorian friends, tons of them. There was yeah, 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 yeah. Friends. There was. Um, you know, I had up the hill. I lived on. It was like uh, oblongs. There was the hill, yeah. and then there was the valley. I was on the valley side. Still nice houses. You know, you got to queue up in the hills. I had them as friends, and it was like all of a sudden, I'm starting to see like all the different social like uh, whatever you call them. Like it's just the culture. Yeah, and I love the diversity. That's that's one thing I did like. Okay, of Northern Virginia. Diversity. Yeah, yeah. Diversity. Uh, this yeah. like uh, I'm probably the best. Yeah, Pro probably the best I've seen, and like they work very, very well. They're very understanding of one another, and yeah, you know, even with c different culture conflicts they may have, you know, yeah. ideologically, they still uh, that was yeah. not conflicting enough for for to impede from having French. I know for I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Uh, no, actually, I don't know for a fact, but it's a it's a I guess of mine. Virginia went blue for the first time four years ago or uh, three years ago. Right. Three years ago. Two years ago. Four years ago, I'm not quite sure. When Obama years, got elected? Yeah. Four years? It yeah. has been. Yeah, and then now it was oh. the governor. It was the first time since the 70s. Who yeah. got elected? Because, we went back because, again. Uh, because, because, yeah, McCullough. yeah. Northern Virginia. I'm telling you, it's the, it's, the, it's the intermingling of ideas and cultures that, you know, I lived I lived on a, I lived in a, in, in a neighborhood where it was uh, split by one road. Right. Uh, this, this road actually led um, from the north side to the south side and we were east and west mm -hmm. and that was all like on that dividing line uh, just just right off the street from me is where my elementary school was that those were where the mansion houses were those were where the big houses where did were. you live diamond tree uh, what 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 mean annandale oh, uh, springfield springfield okay springfield. right in the yeah, heart yeah, yeah. of the mixing Ooh. bowl you have uh it's, it's it's you know it's people who are well settled yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mil a lot of ex-military military yeah. and then you you go down a little bit more you know i'm looking over we still have nice townhouses yeah my next door neighbors are foreign so These many mixtures foreign. of things yeah it's like a town a suburb and a city all in one absolutely and then like and a techno then, burb yeah. and then you got um and then you got the government you got you got a like, place called crestwood yeah um over there it's, it's a little bit more rough around the edges you know some th some of those people were were pushed out um you know, yeah. from other from other areas like Annandale, I remember yeah. um, they they got redeveloped a little bit. Uh, Tyson's got redeveloped. Yeah. Don't Most they people also got pushed have, out um, to some of these neighborhoods. They have a lot of uh, contractors, like government contractors and stuff in the area too. Yeah, yeah, tons, tons, tons. A lot so of like people with that the culture, they brought their own the yeah. style of clothing, their own different foods, and a then lot of different. What started uh, to happen was you started having the people who actually have the influence. Their kids are going to school with you know. Um, 
you know, pe kids like me, uh, kids who are from a different ethnicity, but you know, who might be uh, first, uh, uh, second, or third generation Americans here. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they see the kids getting along, and they're forced to interact. There's a lot of, and, and it's just yeah, like people from all different age groups. And, and yeah. then so I think that was how they started to realize like the real impact of some of the the issues that 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 affect lower class or low middle class, even middle class. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. That, that's just my personal viewpoint, and that's just a hypothesis. I don't have data or facts. It's just something that I've observed. That's actually a good observation. So then you see like the next generation, they're a lot more tolerable, a lot more Absolutely. open, a lot more acceptance. So you mentioned like how is it going to look like 50 years from now? We're going to be a lot more tolerable, a lot more acceptable, a lot more yeah peaceful. So Unless then, they start trying yeah. to crack down on us. Well, that's what we're working to end right now. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So maybe, maybe it's maybe it's not the government that's stopping us from from being better people right maybe it's it's, it's the fact that I, I might have just walked right by you guys but i'm glad that i talked to you today me too man me too you know my what name I'm is Cal. my name is peter man peter man. it was, it was, to meet it was you, a man. pleasure to meet you guys. I, I really used to speak really with you. To, nice to speak with you too me so too. Well, oh, take these pamphlets then <laughs> take, yeah uh, but yeah um say hi next time yeah. Uh, yeah absolutely we have a party next saturday on the 16th we're really? welcome to come here cool oh, and, and you'll find it on the website liquidrva.com okay